What's up YouTube? My name's Loy and I'm a climber based out of Montreal, Quebec. And today I'm here with the McGill Climbing Club at Cafe Bloc. It's our last event of the semester. I want to show you how cool it is and how great this, this club really is. So I started the club about two years ago because there was no climbing club at McGill. And so far we've grown to over 1,500 followers on Instagram. And usually we have about 40 to 60 students come every week to our climbing events. So it's really, really cool to see this community grow. So let's, let's do some climbing. So I'm, I'm gonna go try this V5. Thank you very much for the lovely McGill climbing members for filming me today. <laughs> Anyone have like a favorite teenage mutant ninja turtle? Because I do. Leonardo. Yeah. No. That's... Oh my god. That's so funny. Actually, what I tend not to like Adam Sandler. Oh, I didn't see it. I was thinking about. Let's do Michelle. Get that one by I'm gonna go try this V7 now. <laughs> That was kind of hard. Uh, I only saw cards for the first time this summer. <laughs> this is too hard. I'm moving on. These, these are like some esteemed members of the Miguel Club. Incredibly esteemed, yeah. yes. Um, how, how do you guys feel about the club? I love the club because overall, I made so many new friends. Good. So many new friends in the Waiting club. Waiting on our spotlight interview personally. One day. Uh, yes, we've mentioned it numerous <laughs> times. I feel like we're pretty valuable because we dress up constantly. We do. We're committed All, to the bit. Always spot on with our thieves. Also, it's made me a better climber because I learned so much from the other people here. Oh yeah, shout out Brianna for making me come That's here true, once shout and out then Brianna. immediately buying shoes the next day. <laughs> yeah, those are our thoughts on the club. Yeah, I can do a pull up now too. Ask and cheat. Yeah. That's huge. On the fingerboard or on the, the, the on board. the thing. On the thing. On the thing. And wait, last important thing. <laughs> I'm going to try this V6. The V7 was too hard. Perfect sequence. Good flash. It's going. Okay, I just did it, but I'm gonna do it again because it wasn't recording. I'm gonna try this V5. It was the start was really tough. Additionally to just hosting events, we also theme our events so that um, we can find each other. So you'll see that a lot of people are dressed up in a holiday theme this week. And since it's one of our bigger events, because the holidays are a big time, and it's the end of the semester, we're also doing a costume giveaway. So there's going to be prizes and everything. And we really find that it fosters a really good sense of community when we do these types of events. I'm gonna try this V7 now. Uh, <laughs> no, oh. It's kind of hard.
go try this V7 over here. Looks really cool. Looks like some campus moves. So yeah, I'm just doing a kind of volume session today. Um, I just got over my sickness from nationals, so I'm feeling a lot better, stronger, but still need to learn how to coordinate, so I'm just trying to do as many moves as possible, hang out with the club, talk to people, socialize, and have a lot of fun. I'm gonna go try this V8 now. I'm not gonna try this V8 now. Um, so yeah, one of the main focuses I'm trying to do in this training session so just flash everything. So since most of the things I'm trying aren't really at my limit at all, I'm um, just really trying to focus on climbing well, executing and not doing any hesitation. One of the things that I think is really important that you only really learn once you've been climbing for a long time is that um, knowing the holds that you're climbing on because there is only a set amount of holds that gyms buy from. So most of the holds will be relatively the same unless they're really, really old. By getting familiar with all the hold types and all the hold brands, you'll know what you're jumping to, what you're committing to, and you'll be used to standing. It's like almost like shoes where you have to like learn a shoe like specifically and learn all its nooks and crannies. And so when you do that, you can do what I just did on the V8 and be able to commit to like die nose and last nose because you know how the hold feels. You know that it's good for you and then you can just hang out. Okay, Brianna's back on the camera. I'm gonna go try this V7. Like I was saying, trying to really focus on moving well and uh, flashing. Camera's still The visa. I think I had really bad beta there. I don't know what I was doing. Lazy and I don't want to rest, so I'm gonna treat it like a four on four off and just like keep going. So that's the session done. I'm gonna maybe do a little bit of slab and then I'm definitely gonna sauna after and then I have to like go home and do homework. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Just some climbing, meeting some people with the climbing club, uh, seeing how it like kind of works with us. And I hope this inspires you to come join McGill, join the climbing club and really join our community and like foster this community that we're growing. YouTube thinks this video is cool. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next week.